Hey guys. All right, folks, we're here today for our favorite Italians in Flash God Apocalypse with the song Pendulum. There's a lot of Italians that uh, I do like. I'm not going to say my favorite because, you know, I don't, oh, want, these the, guys, these guys, I don't want the Nano War guys coming after me. Yeah, that's true. I also love those guys. And the Windrose guys. And the guys. Windrose guys. Like, yeah. there's, there's quite a bit of Italians. Fucking the Frozen Crown guys. The Frozen Crown guys. Temperance guys, too. Holy shit, we have a lot of... We have a lot of Italian, we have, we have lot of Italian friends. Italians. Anyhow, but I, I do love myself some Flesh God Apocalypse. I'm not going to hide. I'm not going to front. Uh, they released this a couple of weeks ago, but you know what they say, better late than never. Mm -hmm. Never late is better. So so said Drake. So, um, yeah, it's part of... the it, Start it, from the bottom song. Oh, it is part of that song. Yeah, he says, you know, never late is better. But No, better late than never, but never late is better. It's part of that song. You definitely took that from something, though. Uh, I'm sure. As Ghost Rider. So, uh, are you ready for this? Yeah. Let's, let's do this.
unbelievable, these guys. Unbelievable. <clears throat> uh, what do you What do you think? Upside down, Daniela De Rossi did give me some good shit here. Dude, everybody's getting a turn. Everybody's getting like kick. I, I was gonna say kick him while he's down, but he was not down. He was just like hanging, uh, really as a pendulum, and he was Very swinging. True. I, I, I love the imagery of, of this uh, of this video because a, a couple of things. If, if you look at the way the video starts, he's kind of climbing and then he falls down and he, it almost like, you know, what happened to him, he was climbing a mountain and then he fell down and he had that, that accident, that terrible accident. But it kind of reminded me of that. Like if you're climbing and you have your ropes and whatever and you lose your balance and you're coming, falling down and then the ropes kind of Save hold you. you or whatever, um, but you still all tangle in them. and you're stuck. Yeah, because you you're kind of swinging and you're hitting the, the 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 face of the of the mountain of the wall whatever. So it kind of like that's that whole scene kind of reminded me like that uh, of that. Then you have them weaving the threads of of time, and the threads of of life, because when she's about to cut it, that's cutting the thread of life that would make him completely fall down and 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 be his demise. Because that's what they were weaving, the threads of life, the threads of time that 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 were held like that he was being held by. Yeah. And then you have that scenery like where she's going to cut it and then she doesn't get to cut it uh, because he intervenes. I was expecting her at one point to get up and, and also like give him a few slaps. Because I I, I, I don't know what the uh, I, I don't know what the um, what the imagery represents of all of them taking turns and slapping him around. Maybe it's his own way of saying that the whole band is like like Stop doing crazy fucking shit. <laughs> you have kids, you have a band, you have responsibilities. Stop acting like a buffoon. You know what I mean? Like, don't... You, you're not evil can evil. Don't do this kind of shit. You could have killed yourself, and then we have no band. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's where they were going with, but that's what I, yeah. that's, that's what I, I went know with. But ever since you said climbing the mountain and stuff, like hiking and shit... I climb with my eyes. The same, but but it, it reminded me of the High Fish um, music video from uh, Remstein, where the, oh no, that's not that one. That's that's the that's like the 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 part two of the um, oh, oh, remember one dick, yeah, the one dick music video. You know, we, I, I don't remember, when we did that uh, song, did we do it as a music video or did we? I think we did it on Patreon only. I think we did it on Patreon, but we did a cover on the channel of that song. Of One Dick? Of One Dick. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, I mean, everybody's that's... everybody's got one. Well, not, well, not everybody. everybody. Like, not everybody. I mean, come on, let's face the facts. Some have it by association, you know. Not everybody's got one, like... Do you think people have two? People, it's a possibility. Some people have six fingers. It's a possibility. I'm not going to deny it. It's a possibility. You have six fingers? I have two dicks. I can barely manage one, never mind two. Like, fuck. That'd be a lot. I know. It's a lot to handle. It's a lot to handle, I must say. Uh, anyhow, moving on from the dicks, uh, back into You'd this. You'd be dual uh, with the <laughs> Sword fighting would be unfair. Uh, it's not... At that point... With, at, at that point you, You're dual wielding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. like uh, Darth Maul. <laughs> yes, okay, fine. Anyhow, uh, moving on... Um, well, he is black, but like he has the black he's the black, but underneath yeah. the red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you think that he has two, but they're really, really like well, in the, in the thing they were big, bigger than normal, weren't they? Well, it was just like a double sided, but then he would take them off and have them as I know. As but then the when two. he put them together, it was really oh, big. Oh, it was room. really big. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. It was really big. It was well endowed. It. <laughs> Anyhow, moving, moving, moving on from that and back into this. Um, uh, before we talk more about the song, just talking about the climbing thing. I know a guy that that paid quite a bit of money to climb Mount uh, oh, yes. Everest. Yes. And uh, and I, I'm not I'm not judging the fact that he wasn't able to climb. He, he felt ill. Uh, not not like in a Kim Jong Un kind of way, but he <laughs> not felt the, not in the Kim no, not, not in, in the Kim North, Jong yeah not in, not in the North Korean kind of way. He he <laughs> felt he felt ill and he had to be evacuated. Um, yeah. uh, but the point that I'm trying to make is when he came back from said trip, he had these pictures of the mountain and whatever, and and I thought that he climbed it, but then I realized none of the pictures were at the summit. At the summit yeah. All the pictures were from base camp, looking up at the mountain, right? So I said like, so did you climb it? Oh no no, I just. Not even made it like 25% up the mountain before he got sick. And he... So if you come back, if you try to climb it and you make it like 
five steps beyond base camp where they still have like McDonald's and shit. And when you come back, don't glorify what you did because what you did was really nothing. Yeah. Nothing. That, that, it would be the same as me going to Mount Everest, not paying anybody to climb the mountain, just show up there at base camp and, and take some pictures and fuck, I went to Mount Everest. Yeah, I went to base camp of Mount Everest. I mean, it's not necessarily the you same thing. You visited Nepal. What's it? <laughs> exactly. I made it to the airport. Well, whatever. I, I'm just saying, like, if you... It, it, I, I, don't glorify failure. Yeah. And when, okay, let me rephrase Especially that. Especially if you didn't get no. Don't let, let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. Don't glorify failure when when you 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 hyping your achievement, but your achievement was really no achievement whatsoever. If you almost made it up there, like if you, you were know, like if you saw green boots and you were and you were and you were ha- almost to the summit, but then like you lack of oxygen, you start feeling yeah, ill, and, and then you, one of the Sherpas had to bring you down. Exactly. Okay, fine. That's where, where, that's you, you that's fell, noble. That's you, noble. You fell into the snow, and then you look up, and then the snow peers up, and it's one of them that like grabs you down because they live in. Yeah, that's they what know, I think. Yeah, they know their shit. I watched they, some documentaries. They, know their too. Sh- they they have like the underground passageways. I, I don't know about that. That's but a they know conspiracy their shit. theory. Know, they know their shit. Oh, what I'm saying is, if if you almost like make it there, it's one thing. Yeah. Like you almost what, died. Like, like if like, I say I'm going to a... cross the Atlantic Ocean swimming, right? And 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 I start and I start in in Canada. I start in 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 Newfoundland, like let's say New Brunswick, and I stop at Oak Island, which is like really like a hundred meters off the coast. I, I I can't take pictures and say wow. Look what I did. No, you didn't do anything. You swam you like a hundred. I made it to Oak Island. I, I swam a hundred meters. Like, or well, it would be in, in Canadian. In terms Canadian, would be swimming to the center island. In Canadian folklore, I guess I could say, uh, not folklore, but in Canadian like history, it, it's like uh, Terry Fox. Uh, no, let's put it back in no. the Italian terms. It would be like an Italian person saying, "I'm going to swim all the way to Morocco," and they only make it to Sicily. And I'm not saying swimming from. The mainland to Sicily is not difficult. I'm, that's not what I'm claiming. But it's not quite as going all the way to Morocco. Yeah. That's just what I'm trying to say. Anyhow, moving on from... I have to get this off my chest because that gonna, guy really was, bothers me. I was going to use the, the the Terry Fox thing. Like, the, what he did was was a big achievement, especially for what he was going through. Yeah. Right? But that, but that would be like if he, if he said he was going to run, run across Canada, but he just like... And he started in Vancouver, and he finished in Vancouver. <laughs> Vancouver, yeah. Still in the same area code. I'm just saying. Like, anyways, that guy really bothers me because he was hyping his achievements, and then uh, there was no achievements. Was no you spent forty thousand dollars to go climb a mountain, and you didn't even finish. And I'm not saying getting to base camp is not difficult, because I'm sure just getting to base camp is probably, especially for a fat guy like me, getting to base camp is probably listen, already I, difficult. I think but if you, no, but but if I'm climbing, I, I, I'm going to be in shape and I'm going to be, be training. Peak, you're going to be in peak form, and and I swear, if I have to be on the brink of death for one of the Sherpas to come get me and drag me down, because forty thousand dollars is a lot of fucking money to climb this goddamn mountain. <laughs> I'm climbing the fucking mountain. I'm getting my money's worth. I'm getting my <laughs> money's worth. I want to see the top of the sun. I want to. I wanna... uh, you know what? For sixty thousand, I'll get the Sherpa to to put me on his back and take me up, and then another Sherpa put me on his back and bring me down. Yeah. I'll pay forty thousand each way, and I want a lot of oxygen tanks. Yeah, definitely. I'm not doing without oxygen. But I want to take pictures of all like the cool. Like stuff. that guy that I saw in that documentary. Uh, uh, was it Ten Peaks or whatever it's called? No, he climbs the mountains with no. Oh no, yeah. Because the, the the his lungs the the way the capacity the way he processes oxygen he's able Damn. to do it without oxygen tank. Yeah, the guy b- broke like the world record. Of uh, the in a period of I think it was like six months or something like that. I, I can't remember. I watched the documentaries on Netflix. It's fucking incredible. Like the way he sets himself to like climb the highest mountains in the world in in this short period of time so he can break the world record. And he did it. Anyhow, uh, moving away from that and moving back into the song. What do you think about this uh, this crazy heavy track from uh, Flesh God Apocalypse? It's fucking yeah. It's really fucking heavy, but uh, it has. That flush got apocalypse beauty to it in a way. Um, but that piano I, guitar solo duel. I was about to say that was fucking amazing, man. I feel like that's the star of the show here, um, because of how good the piano guitar mashup so like that that thing was amazing. Uh, it had me doing my air piano over here, and I was not doing this because it was more elegant in its ways. Uh, the song was fucking great. I, I love. I always love when I can get a lot of heaviness from this band, but still that beauty that, that that's in their DNA. The symphonic aspect of yeah, the, the band. Yeah, the symphonic aspect still coming through in, in waves. Um, 
and and I love those jolts. Yeah, just everything. Very cinematic. Very, very cinematic. Very cinematic. Very cinematic. Very very cinematic. cinematic. And it just it just does something to you. This band really just it, it it puts you in that 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 feeling that you're about to watch like the greatest play of all time. Yeah, every song. Every song. Every song in this every play song. is a fucking is a goaded piece. That that piano solo. Uh, the two, the guitar, piano, solo, that whole solo section was tremendous, tremendous. I, I, I thought that was the piece de resistance, if, as far as I'm concerned. One thing I'm going to say that I would have liked to uh, seen on this song, because I think there was room for it. Uh, when, when, the, when the guitars uh, are coming in heavy in the choruses, specifically in the choruses, I thought it would have been really cool to throw in some some technical aspects and not in the forefront of the song, but more as a layer to the track. And you could either do them with the guitars or do them with the pianos, where you created a very technical death metal style melody that that would be a layer within within the heaviness that the song had. I I I, I thought they were gonna do it, and then they didn't do it. And then the, I was like, okay, maybe they'll do it the next time around. Then they didn't do it. And then I saw some of those attributes in the solo. I saw some of those attributes in the guitar solo, and I saw some of those attributes in the piano solo. What I would have liked to have seen is taking a little, uh, going a little bit more over uh, the top as far as the technical aspect of it, and not having them like really pronounced. Like I don't want to hear Art Spire in a, in a Flesh God Apocalypse song, but what I'm saying is because they really showcase their more technical aspect in the solo sections to have uh, a few hints of that. In, in the solo piece, but as really a, like a, almost like a very fainted layer that you, you could you could hear, but you but it doesn't really distort the song. Mm -hmm. I think it would have put in the track even at a higher level. It's already at a high level, but I think it would have put in at a higher level because uh, I'm not a huge fan. This band doesn't need those technical aspects uh, that bands like Arspire and all these technical death metal bands are really good at they do and they, and they normally do it more so with the bass than they do it even with the guitars in terms of those nice really bass licks that they do but this song because of because of the cinematic presence that the track had that coming and going of sound adding just a hint of it there would have also connected the dots really well to lead up to that solo section where then you see what you were just fainting, faintly hearing you finally would see represented in front of you in those solos. It would have been the breadcrumbs that would have taken you... Uh, bless you. Oh, thank you. Uh, it would have been the breadcrumbs that would have taken you all the way to that point. Yeah. That to me, if I'm being really nitpicky about it, is the only thing I would say. Uh, outside of that... Great fucking song. Great song. Vocally, musically, the video. I mean, these guys make videos like it's nobody's business, so. I like you said he looked like uh, Daniel De Rossi. You and this Daniel De Rossi. I think, I think when, when an Italian man has, like, the sunken in eyes, like, but you look like you're tired as fuck. You look like the raccoon. You know, the raccoon eyes, yeah. yeah. And, and, the, and the nicely shaped beard and with a little bit, you know, and then just a, like a hint of, of coloring and stuff. They're supposed to be dead, mu dead musicians and whatever. I know, but but I'm saying Daniel De Rossi's not a dead musician. No, but he's very much alive. Very very similar facial structure. I don't know what it Maybe is. Maybe it's an Italian thing. I think it's an Italian men thing. When they have beards, they they automatically just turn into Daniel De Rossi, which is not a bad thing. I mean, By the way, uh, to finish off this uh, video on an Italian note, um, uh, was Brighton? They play Roma, right? Yeah, they play Roma in the Europa League. Uh, they lost at Roma, but then they won one nothing at home, which wasn't enough for them to advance. At home, uh, the 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 Brighton at uh, Brighton, right? Brighton. The, the Brighton fans had a, a banner that said that uh, um, I, I think it was the coach from Roma. Who's the coach from Roma right now? The Neil the Rossi, Rossi. Uh, said that he likes uh, pineapple on pizza. They had a <laughs> they had a banner that said uh, that said that. The Rossi looks better. So now now, now we've gone full circle here. I feel like we've gone full circle. I feel like it's a perfect thing to say to an Italian. And they, and they did it in Italian. Oh, like, really? it, was, it was not in English. The banner was in Italian. That's perfect. Fuck. Yeah. Shout out to the Brighton fans there. Uh, very creative. Very creative. You know you're gonna get eliminated. You lost four nothing in the first leg. Uh, you know you're, there's no way you're gonna beat Roma. So yeah. might, as, might as well. Might as well tell them well, that no he likes be pineapple Roma, on pizza. They beat, Roma, but no way. They beat, but there's no. You're not going to beat them five gonna, nothing. Yeah, you're not going to go through. You're not going to beat well, them five nothing. nothing. You could tie four four and then go to penalties. Okay, fine, whatever. But, but still, um, well, yeah, dude, I feel like more teams should do that. 
to, to like it's fucking funny dude like it's a funny diss and it's kind of a joke it's 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 yeah it's, it's good it, times I, I always like when, when when football fans put time and effort into into being fans like like shout out to the Leg- Legia Warsaw uh, or Legia Warsaw fans because have you seen the banners that they create for for their home games okay that shit's crazy yeah all right uh, I I've, I've done my fair share of banners back in the day true true some are more proud of than others but you know it is what it is a lot of wait, staying up like at four a.m. ready then you have work at like six yeah 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 I, I was uh, in my youth I was part of a uh, ultras I was. Anyways, I'm not going to get into that story now. Um, if you if you want to find that video... Oh, no, no, no. We're not talking about that. <laughs> we're not talking about that. Anyways, this this is... this. We're, we're done here. We're done here. Let's finish on the pizza note. We're good with that. We're finishing on the pizza note, which I thought was a nice way to wrap up this video. And uh, we'll see... Everyone's going to be wondering. And we'll see you all at the next one. See ya.